Okay, so this is how you do a um, script assignment. Before you watch this video, you want to make sure that you know how to type Macron. So if to do that, you click Computer Skills and okay, so these are basic ignore computers. the second tab, but go to the first tab that was opened up here and click, come down and click Show More. And that will give you two videos that you can click one of them if you've got a PC or a Mac to know how to type Macrons anywhere on your computer. So you do want to make sure you know how to do that first. All right, once you know that, then let's say we want to do chapter four scripta, for instance. What you do is you click this coin, and when I click it, I want you to watch. There are two things that will happen. One will be a new tab will open at the top up here, and the other is that a file will be downloaded at the bottom corner down there. So watch what happens. Here it goes. You click it, and at first you get the message, and then those two things will happen. You can read this message if you want, but it just tells you what I'm telling you now. Okay, so there it went. Here was the new tab that was opened, and down here is the file that was downloaded to your computer. Um, now, why did it do all this? Why can't you just like fill it in like you like normal? Because, well, I'm sorry. At this point, I have not programmed the the stuff that I need to program to make you to just be able to fill in the answers on Scripta and let it check you instantly. So at this point, what's going to happen is you're going to have to download the file, and in fact, that already happened down there. And then you'll fill it out on your computer or on paper, and then you'll upload it back up to me um, or my grader on the website. So that's what we're going to have to do, those three steps. So let's, we've already done step one. We've downloaded the file, or in this case, files, since there are two things. And now we're going to move on to step two, which is filling them out. All right, so first off, let's go get this file that was downloaded. Okay, normally it will have an extension called, that says .docx, which is the extension for Microsoft Word, which makes your computer know to open this file in Microsoft Word. If it doesn't have that on it, like this one doesn't, then I'm sorry, you got to add it. So the way you do that is you show it in its folder, and then you want to rename it. Now on a Mac, you do that by hovering over it but in a PC you right click and hit rename. So I'm going to change this to .docx and you can actually name it anything you want. I'm going to rename this one David3. Okay. So once I've done that, yes, add the extension. Now did you see the icon changed? It says .docx now. Now suddenly the computer realized, oh this is a Microsoft Word file. I can handle that. I know all about that. So now when you click on it, now it'll open it in Microsoft Word as you see right here. So you got to fill out the answers on this, and there are two ways you can do it. You can either print it up on paper and then write the answers by pen or pencil, and then scan it as a new, probably a JPEG or PNG file or maybe a PDF file, and then upload it to me, and that will be done in step three. But right now we're still in step two. And so one of the ways is that you can print it, fill it out, and scan it. Or here's the second way, which is that you can just fill in the answers right here on your computer. All right, now if you want to do this way, then I have a few suggestions for you to make it look half decent. You could just start typing in your answers like uh, blah, 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 and you could even just like erase the blanks, like all that. You know, you could do that. But if you want to make it look nice or mm, a little bit better than awful, then you click underline, and you might want to click like a different color, like green. Okay, so now when you type your name, David, then it's clear that this is what you did and it's not the rest of the stuff in the file. We graders appreciate that too because then we can more easily tell what you wrote. And when we come through, we might write in red, for instance. So it's nice if you do this. You don't have to, but it's nice if you do it. So what you want to do is you want to fill out the answers. You fill in all these blanks here. We also do part two. And then the last part is the crossword. Now you can either fill out the crossword here, or you can fill it out back there on that website that it opened up in a new tab for you. So one way is to do it here. You will click on a thing, and it gives you the clue, hello, singular. So hopefully you know that that's Salway. Don't type a macrons here. It, it's just going to get in the way. And you can just type whatever you want here, and it will put it in for you. And if you make a mistake, like, or let's do a Lent X, that makes no sense. That's wrong. Okay. But 
If you do that, then when you fill it, fill the whole thing out and check the puzzle, it'll tell you if you got some error or if you left something incomplete. So you want to fix those until it's perfect, and then prove to me that you did it by taking a screenshot of this. Now, if you forgot how to take screenshots, go watch that video called Computer Skills. So on a Mac, it's Command Shift 4, and then you highlight it. Chink, chink, ray. Okay, so now that screenshot should be on your desktop, or if you're on a PC, it will be hidden on your clipboard and accessible by opening up some editor like Paint or Microsoft Word and then typing Control V to paste it in. So now you can either leave it there and upload it later when you upload this worksheet, or you can just paste it into here as a picture. So if you want to do that, you do insert picture, picture from file, and your screenshot should be there on your desktop. Just click it, and boom, there it is. Now, <laughs> something weird happened. If something else is in front of it, you want to send that to the back, and maybe even send it behind text like that. And so now you can just drag this thing around wherever you want to put it. Or you could just leave it like this, all junky and nice, but who cares. Um, you can also do things like crop it. So if you want to get rid of the side piece and just have that much, then you can do that. And now it's that much smaller or bigger if you want to resize it. So that's great. So you can either paste your work in like that, or you can type it in. Now this is actually a photo, so you can't type into a photo. That's not going to work. But you can type over a photo. So if you want to do that, you do insert text box, draw a text box, and draw a big old text box right over top of it like that. And now you want to set this text box up, though, so that you, know, you can just straight away type in and everything will look perfect. So to do that, you want to change the transparency, the font, the color, and the line spacing. So first, transparency. We format the shape and set fill to no fill. Okay, see you. Went got transparent. And now the next thing was the font. You select control A and make it like 14 point. And then while it's still highlighted control A, you want to set the line spacing options. Now get rid of before and after and just set it to exactly 22 point. If you do that, then everything will be then everything will be perfectly spaced to fit in these boxes here. Okay, so I always just do a whole bunch of spaces first, so a whole line of spaces, and then I copy and paste that line over and over and over and over right on through the text box so that I can go through. Okay, so there's control C copy, and now let's do control V paste, 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 paste all the way on through, like that. And the reason I do that is so that now I can put my cursor anywhere in here. Oops, we didn't change the color. And type in my answer. And when I do the next line, it's the correct spacing again. So, and if it's not quite centered, then you can just drag your text box around like that. Okay, so now you can just type in your answers, like here. So what's this? Two across is hello singular. Well, hopefully you know that that is salve. And so you just type it in like that and then hit the space bar to separate them out into the right boxes. Then you can also go down vertically like this, you know, just filling it in. Isn't that great? Okay, so once you've got it all filled in and it's all done, then you hit File, Save As, and save it as something David completed 3. And I guess I'll save this on my desktop. Save it, bing, and now we're ready for step three, which remember was uploading it. So we've saved our files, we have a screenshot, and we have a file, and we're going to upload them. Now to upload them, you to upload anything in the world to me, the grade, or my grader, you're going to click one of the other coins, and it doesn't matter which one you click. The, the chapter three other coin will work as well as the chapter four other coin, because they all go to the same place. So you click it like this, and now here's what you do. It's already filled in for you your name and your email. Now if you have another group member like Salvicia 
and then you can type in her name and email like that. Okay. Um, now notice when I typed it in, it, it lost to that red glowing highlight around the box. You've got to get rid of all these red glowing highlights before the submit button will be enabled down here. You, now you probably want to tell the grader what chapter you're in, 17. You do want to do that. And then now you can either hit choose files and go click the, hold down the control key to click multiple files or on a Mac it's the command key just like that and then you click open and they will upload them both or what you can do is that you can just drop them straight in so I could just drop them straight in like this but I'm not gonna do that right now I'm just gonna upload them like I said like hold down command on a Mac okay and upload them and so it, it says it's going to write a custom message over here. Just click OK. I know it wasn't a video. Don't worry about that. OK, so it's now got this custom message here. And you can change it a little bit if you want. Like write a message to your grader. Like maybe you want to write help on number four of section two. So once that's all ready, you notice all the red glowing highlights were removed from the boxes. So now you can click submit and that will send it off to us and the graders. Project submitted. Project submitted. It submitted both of them and that's all you have to do to send anything to us. So you can use this other coin to do send anything to us. You can send scripted to us. You can send culture assignments to us. In fact, that's what it says in the red box here. So anything at all. You can, you can even send a little message to us written in a notepad file if you want. So the other coin is for any assignment that you want to send to us. All right, hopefully in the near future this will be fixed so that you can just type in your answers to the script and it will instantly come to us. But at the current point moment, that's not ready. So all right, bye-bye.